Hi, my name is Peach and welcome back to MoGraph Monday. Today I'll be showing you how to make a repeating background animation just like this. So I'm going to grab a fusion composition from our effects library. So you effects library, effects, fusion composition, and put it on your timeline. Um, I put mine to the length of one second and one frame. And then we're going to go into the fusion page. Next thing we're going to do is grab a background node and connect it to our media out. Then we're going to grab a merge. And then we're going to also grab another background node and connect it to our merge. On this background node, we're going to click it. We can change the color and we're going to go to image on this page and then we're going to check uncheck auto resolution and put the width to 1080 then i can also go back here and change the alpha on this background node. next thing we're going to do is view our background two so just hit two on the node and as you can see this pops up right now we're going to make our animation so i'm just going to grab a ellipse mask from right here connect it to the background on the ellipse you could double click this and hit an equal sign and then take this plus and pair it to the width so now once you move both things will be the same uh, number basically what we're going to do is animate this circle so we're going to have it be really big at the beginning keyframe it right there and then we're going to go like 12 seconds in and then we're going to change it to zero now we can go to our spline page right here and look at the width and then hit zoom to fit highlight these keyframes and we're going to change the graph Hit S and I make my graph like this, something like that, and put it down just like that. So we have an animation that looks like this. Now what we're gonna do for you here is make it so this whole square is smaller and it's gonna be like a part of a bigger scheme of things. So we're gonna add a transform node to this background and then we're going to zoom view, let's view that frame. And so we're gonna make this about like an eighth of the screen or something like that. I don't know, that's not that's not right. Sixteenth. So make this 0.25, make this center 1.125, and make the bottom 1.25 as well. And then we're gonna add a duplicate node. So shift space duplicate node, and apply it to our graph. View it. Hit two, and we're gonna move this over by 0.75, I believe, and then put the copy amount to four. So it fills up the screen. Now the animation goes at the same time. Next thing we are gonna do is add another duplicate node. Put it here, and then we're gonna move this upwards on the Y by 0.75. And then we're gonna make four copies as well. And now it goes at the same time, but we want it to go off one at a time each row. So we're gonna delay it by a negative one frames. But as you can see, it goes away but the animation is still there. That's because the background node here only exists at frame zero and we're having the animation start before frame zero. So the way to fix that is to go to this background and then type in a number that goes further past zero on the negative spectrum. So I'm gonna do like negative 50, looks like that. So now it all appears. Then we have the animation just like that. And now what we can do is just duplicate kind of what we have here, copy, paste it, and then link this back up to here. So we just have another duplicate of this. And now is it not synced correctly? That's because we need to change the frame offset from negative one to negative four. And now we have something like this, which is good. But as you can see, maybe you can see there's a little bit of tiling or you can see the little spaces in between each of the shapes. So the way to fix that is we're gonna add a road dilate node, put it here, and then we're gonna put the value to 0.001 and put the filter to circle, I like it to circle. So now we have something like this. And then the way we have it shaped is that it, has, it goes from the top and the bottom. So we just go to our merge, and it needs to be on the merge. We're gonna change this edges to mirror. And so you have something like this. And then we are going to change the height to one, not point one, one. And now you have the animation like that. If you have any more questions or suggestions on what you should do in the future, please let me know down below in the comment section. If you'd like to join the Resolve Amy Community Discord, there's a link in the description as well as my own server if you would like to join. And with that, subscribe and have a good day.